Hello, KMMA tribe, friends, and family, and happy, happy Friday. I hope that uh, this message finds you well. <clears throat> I might even take a moment or two to see who jumps on here. Uh, if you do jump on and see this, feel free to, uh, to make some comments so that I'll actually know that you're here. But what I want to talk about today is about accomplishing our goals. It's about a tool that we call the Progress and Goals Check. And the Progress and Goals Check is really uh, a, P, a part of how we, we do our Black Belt Leadership acronym called PERI. PERI, I think PERI in the martial arts, but PERI in this sense means Plan, Act, Review, Improve. And, but what I want to talk about specifically is the progress and goals check and specifically more than anything without going into any great deal of detail today is just about are you doing it because the secret is that accomplishing big worthy goals is relatively easy when done by accomplishing small worthy goals over time and measuring those things on a regular basis so it means like that that hopefully we all set some goals for 2023 and then hopefully created a plan that broke those goals down into monthly and weekly and perhaps even daily goals that would allow us to accomplish the uh, annual goals. Now listen, I'm going to share uh, just one of mine. I set three personal and three professional uh, every year uh, so that I make sure that I'm progressing, that I'm moving forward. I'm going to talk about only one. Some of you may know that uh, I lost 40 pounds uh, last year, and I was very proud of it because I kept the, the habits and stuck to the plan and did the things to make sure that that happened, right? Because that's the key. Look, it's not hard to lose weight. It's not hard to gain weight. They're both too easy. The hard part is having the discipline and consistency to maintain whatever your goal is over time. So, so most of you probably know that, but, but what you may or may not know, well, you won't know because I just did the progress and goals check is that I set a goal for this year to lose another 50, which is going to be crazy. I just can't imagine myself down uh, to that weight again. But I was at that weight once when I was a young man. When I, It's my fighting weight. It's what I was uh, for, for, you know, when I was an infantryman. It's, it's, you know, I want to get back down to that weight. That's another 50 pounds for me. Well, I made the comment uh, last year. I was talking to my wife first, and then I put it out here publicly that, look, it's not that undoable or that big of a thing because it's only a pound a week. And uh, so the cool part uh, that I wanted to share with you is today I did analyze and, uh, you know, after January, I'm down another five pounds, a pound a week. And this is the way that winning is done. Now, by the way, of course, did, did the same thing with all my professional goals. I know my statistics and I know my finances for my business for January. I know the areas in which we also did well and I know the areas in which we need to do better. That's what a progress and goals check is all about. Now, listen, you can do it for yourself and or you can get help from people in the areas that you need. So for example, we do progress and goals check once a month with our students out here, right? Like this week has been stripe testing week. We stripe test every month because it's a progress and goals check to make sure that our students are progressing towards their goal of their next belt, right? Towards the goal of becoming black belts one day. This is exactly how it's done. It's the same thing, whether you're striving for a black belt or whether you're striving for any worthy goal. Make sure that you're doing it and make sure that, 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 that you have something that's going to really move the needle in your life as far as your happiness and success, meaning that you feel the joy of progress. I had to talk with somebody I care about last night and uh, she's also, you know, endeavoring to do some business things and this and that. But, uh, but you know, she has poor health and, 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 and a high weight based on a lifetime of bad decisions and I'm helping her, you know, uh, get on the same plan that I did. To, to, to get the weight under control and stuff. Uh, but we're also talking about the other stuff. And, you know, I just told her, I said, look, it, it takes a little time to get the positive momentum to, to get away from the, 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 you know, she said, stop the negative momentum. I said, look, as long as you're not eating all that sugar and doing these things, you've already somewhat stopped the, the negative momentum. You just got to get the positive momentum going now. But here's the thing I told you that I want to close this on. I said, and listen, the weight, I said, it's really a relatively easy thing. Because you're totally in control of that. It's all up to you. The, 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 the business stuff is harder, right? Because you got to rely on other people. If you're an entrepreneur, you have to rely on other people to help you actually 
um, you know, accomplish your, your business goals. And, and even if not, even if you're a solo printer like, like she is, you got to rely on, on customers wanting what, what it is that you have. And right, it takes more time to build that momentum. I said, uh, I said, focus on, on getting healthy as a big and important part of, of, of getting momentum. Because as is the case in all other things too, the, the two are interdependent, right? The stronger and healthier and more energetic you feel, the more successful you're going to be in anything you ever do. See, I can, I can just go off on stuff. I know it's not today's topic. Today's topic is progress and ghost check. So listen, here's what I really want to tell you is make sure you do that for you. If you set some goals for this year, it's time to sit down if you haven't already and say, okay, did I get a 12th of the way in January? Because that's what needed to happen. And the, the review and improve part is, if I didn't, what do I need to change to make sure that February is better? All right, I hope this was helpful to you. Prepare to live, empower to lead. Hope to see you real soon.